So we have a strategy at Restoration, and it's a little different than a lot of churches. Rather than go about just planting churches or building bigger buildings or even having a building, um, we simply go about making disciples. And then we see churches as really the healthy byproduct of disciple making. A lot of churches put a building first or structures and programs first or organizational things first. Not that we don't want to be organized and not that we're against any of those things. We just see that Jesus called us to make disciples. And in the first century church, what was normally happening is they were making disciples and then the churches were the healthy byproducts. They came together for a meal, uh, to fellowship, uh, to pray with one another, and then to hear some teaching. And they were regularly getting together in homes and in public places to spur one another on good works, like we see in Hebrews 10. They were doing so much good, making so many disciples and loving people, feeding the poor, uh, taking in orphans, caring for widows, visiting people in prison, taking care of estranged and alienated people. And when they were doing all that, they were kind of worn out, not to mention the religious and political leaders of the day were trying to kill them. So they had to get together. And when they got together, they didn't want to just sit in pews and hear somebody talk to them. They came together and they ministered to one another. Like we see in 1 Corinthians 12, 13, and 14, everybody had gifts and they were operating in love and trying to build one another up. And so what we do is we get together and we do those very things. We get together in homes, we make disciples, we encourage one another. And then we invite people to do Luke 10 style. Uh, invite somebody into your home or go to a place where you can go and make disciples. Um, it's just a natural byproduct. If you can have a meal and you can talk about Jesus and pray, you can have a church. And that's what we're doing. And we're inviting you into it.